Since there has been a story about the cosmos, it has had a beginning one single explosive event that set the stage for our entire truth, the initial event. It forms the basis of our year zero in modern cosmology. The universe, it is theorized, began 13.8 billion years ago. Before that, nothing existed, nothing we would be aware of. No matter, no space, no time. After that, everything burst into existence. It's a powerful, elegant story. But what if that story is incomplete? What if our universe's narrative does not begin with a single, straightforward bang? What if the James Webb Space Telescope, our most powerful tool for observing the universe, has uncovered a puzzle that suggests the Big Bang may not be the entire picture? Because that is the truly astonishing possibility with which scientists now struggle. They've unearthed ancient galaxies that appear so massive and mature they seem to defy the timeline of the universe itself. These universe breakers challenge a fundamental cosmological presumption that everything had to be built from scratch after the Big Bang. This is not simply an anomaly. It is a discovery with the potential to alter everything we thought we knew about our cosmic beginnings. So, why is this such a big deal? It comes down to the official timeline of the universe, what astronomers call the standard cosmological model. It all starts 13.8 billion years ago with the Big Bang. In the very first second, the universe inflated from smaller than an atom to the size of a galaxy. It was a scorching, dense soup of particles. As it expanded, it cooled. For the first 380,000 years, it was a blinding fog where light was trapped no stars, no galaxies. This was a cosmic apocalypse. Only after the universe cooled enough for hydrogen atoms to form could light travel freely. What we now observe as the cosmic microwave background is that first light a faint, ancient echo of creation. According to this chronology, the first stars didn't begin to shine until about 100 to 200 million years after the Big Bang. These were colossal population three stars made entirely of hydrogen and helium. They burned hot, lived fast, and died young exploding as supernovae that seeded the cosmos with the first heavy elements, the building blocks of planets, life, and all future stars. From the ruins of those early stars, the first galaxies gradually began to take shape. Our models predicted they would be clumpy, small, and messy merging over billions of years into the grand spirals we see today. The timetable seemed clear. Big Bang gives dark ages, gives stars, gives tiny young galaxies. A slow, bottom-up process of cosmic construction. But then came the James Webb Space Telescope. Launched on Christmas Day 2021, JWST was designed not just to confirm our theories, but to push them to their limits. With its massive gold-plated mirror, it peers farther back in time than ever before. Because light takes time to travel, looking far away means looking back in time back to the era when the first galaxies were expected to ignite. In its first year, astronomers pointed Webb at empty patches of sky. What it revealed was stunning, the cosmos was filled with far more galaxies than anyone anticipated. And some of those galaxies looked impossible. Astronomers discovered a group of galaxies that were stupendously large and bright nothing like the small, primitive galaxies our models predicted. They looked suspiciously mature. A major study published in Nature revealed six possible galaxies between 500 and 700 million years after the Big Bang that appeared as massive as the Milky Way. One was nicknamed a universe breaker because it should not have had enough time to grow that big. To exist, it would have needed to convert nearly all its available gas into stars at an extraordinary rate. But the puzzle went deeper. Another study analyzed galaxies roughly 600 million years old. The models suggested that some of their stars appear to be 2.4 billion years old older than the universe itself. Let that sink in. Stars seemingly older than the cosmos they inhabit. How could that be possible? How could a star survive for 2 billion years inside a universe only 600 million years old? The authors urged caution. These results depend heavily on the models scientists use to analyze starlight, and those models must be confirmed. Still, the implications though tentative were mind-boggling. 
This sparked intense debate. To understand why, we need to look at how astronomers measure cosmic distance and time. Their primary tool is redshift. It's similar to the Doppler effect. When an ambulance approaches, its siren sounds high-pitched as it moves away, the pitch drops. The same happens to light. Because the universe is expanding, distant galaxies move away from us, stretching their light toward the red end of the spectrum. The farther and faster a galaxy recedes, the higher its redshift. By measuring redshift, astronomers can estimate both distance and the age of the light when it first began its journey across the cosmos. For example, the galaxy Jade's GSZ-14 has been confirmed as the most distant ever observed, with its light dating back to just 290 million years after the Big Bang. But even this galaxy is puzzling. It contains oxygen and shines surprisingly brightly. Oxygen must be forged inside stars, meaning multiple generations of stars must have already lived and died within the universe's first few hundred million years. Clearly, the cosmic assembly line was running far faster than we imagined. Determining the ages of stars inside galaxies is trickier. Astronomers analyze a galaxy's color. Young stars burn hot and blue, while older stars are cooler and redder. By studying the combined light, scientists use stellar evolution models to estimate ages. It was these models that produced the shocking result. Some stars appeared older than the universe. But if the assumptions behind those models are flawed as many suspect, then the age estimates may also be wrong. And that is where the true scientific debate lies. With such bizarre discoveries, one big question emerges, is the Big Bang Theory wrong? It's a headline that grabs attention. Attention. Generally speaking, however, cosmologists believe that the answer is a skeptical no. The evidence for the Big Bang itself, the expanding universe, the cosmic background radiation from microwaves is simply too much to ignore. What are these improbable galaxies? Our standard model of cosmology, known as Lambda CDM, is extremely challenging. This is the detailed blueprint for how the universe developed following the Big Bang. It is our cosmic recipe, about 5% normal matter, 27% mysterious dark matter, and 68% dark energy. In this model, dark matter is the silent architect. Because it is cold, it clumps together easily, forming massive invisible halos similar to gravitational halos. These halos act as seeds, pulling in gas to make the first stars and galaxies. According to Lambda CDM, this ought to be a steady, slow process. Early galaxies should be minimal and require billions of years of mergers to grow into giants like our Milky Way. The JWST discoveries fly in the face of that. Finding a galaxy as big as the Milky Way just 500 million years after the Big Bang is like planting a redwood seed and seeing a full-grown tree a week later. It doesn't mean the greenhouse is fake, but it does mean your theory about how trees grow is wrong. Jolie, an astronomer at Penn State, stated, We've been calling these objects universe breakers and they have been living up to their names so far. He went on to say, the revelation that massive galaxy formation began extremely early in the history of the universe changes what a lot of us had believed to be established science. The issue isn't the Big Bang, it's that our timeline for the subsequent events seems to be fundamentally wrong. We are facing a turning point, peering into the dawn of time and seeing things that, based on our rules, shouldn't be present. The story of our universe is being rewritten in real time right now. If you want to follow along as we take a look at these bizarre cosmic puzzles, make sure you subscribe and take that as a warning. You won't want to miss how this story develops. So, if the Big Bang Theory isn't broken but our models for galaxy formation are, how do we fix it? Scientists are now scrambling to determine how the universe built things so fast. The ideas generally belong to two groups, one that tries to modify the current model and another that suggests something far more radical. First, the tweaks. One idea focuses on the first generation of population three stars. What if they were far more massive than our models assume? 
Stars thousands of times larger than our sun's mass would live for only a few million years before exploding, rapidly enriching the universe with the heavy elements necessary to kickstart the next generation of star formation. Another idea is that the conditions at the beginning of the universe were different from what we consider. Maybe some regions were much denser, or the gas cooled more efficiently, allowing stars to form at a blistering pace. Some scientists have even proposed that the supermassive black holes at the centers of today's galaxies weren't built over time, but came directly from the primordial collapse of huge gas clouds. These could have acted as gravitational ancas, jump-starting galaxy formation on an enormous scale. There is also the possibility that the light itself is deceiving us. We estimate a galaxy's mass from its brightness. But what if these early galaxies aren't unusually massive, just unusually bright? They could be experiencing intense, short-lived bursts of star formation. We might have caught them during their brief moment of glory, making them look bigger than they are. Disentangling all these possibilities is the next great challenge for astronomers. When your best models break down, the door opens to more speculative ideas. While these are not mainstream science, they show how seriously scientists are taking this puzzle. One such idea is a hybrid theory that combines the expanding universe with a century-old concept called tired light. This French theory suggests that light loses energy as it travels through space. In a controversial 2023 paper, physicist Rajendra Gupta proposed that by combining tired light with standard expansion, the universe might not be 13.8 billion years old, but a whopping 26.7 billion years old. If the universe were twice as old, there would suddenly be plenty of time for those huge galaxies to form. While it's a fascinating thought experiment, this idea sits far outside the scientific consensus as it contradicts mountains of precise cosmological data. Other fringe theories question even more fundamental concepts. Could the laws of physics have been different in the early universe? Or is our Big Bang just part of an endless cycle of rebound from a previously collapsed universe? A cyclical model could allow ancient structures to seed a new universe. However, how a galaxy could endure that transition is entirely unknown. These are untamed thoughts, but when confronted with an impossible observation, you have to be willing to explore every possibility. The James Webb Space Telescope has given us a new view of the cosmos, and it is both spectacular and profoundly confusing. Let's be clear, we have not found definitive proof of galaxies existing prior to the Big Bang. That remarkable claim would require truly extraordinary evidence. What we have found is a deep contradiction, a collection of observations that challenge the story we've been telling ourselves about our place in cosmic history. These so-called impossible galaxies aren't a sign that the Big Bang is wrong. They are a flashing signal that our understanding of the subsequent events is incomplete. The early universe did not undergo a slow, gradual construction. It was a cosmic factory capable of building huge, complex galaxies at a rate faster than our theories can explain. This isn't a failure of science. This is science. It's the thrill of finding a genuine mystery. These discoveries have kicked off a new race in cosmology to solve the problem, improve our models, and perhaps even uncover new physics that explains how our universe grew so fast. The creation book is not finished. It feels as though we've just discovered that the first chapter was far more interesting than we ever knew. The answers are out there, hidden in the faint ancient light from the dawn of time. As the JWST continues to peel back the layers of the early universe, we'll be here to bring you every new discovery and every new piece of this incredible puzzle. To make sure you don't miss the next chapter, subscribe and join us on this journey to the beginning of everything.